Welcome back to SPX 2023. My name is Joe. I'm Rusty. And with us today. Hi, I'm Eric Gordon. Eric, also known as DC Creepers. Oh. Oh, oh, an alias. Like it's that. true. Oh, man. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. What brings yeah. you to SPX? Uh, so, um, I've been doing SPX since the beginning. Uh, I have an older brother who got me into all this. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been, I'm from here, I'm from Bethesda, and um, you know, for many years I would come and enjoy myself and meet all these amazing artists and wonder why am I not doing this also, because I'm an artist, I yeah. should probably be doing this. And I think I, I saw a really good Ignat speech from Brian Ralph, and nice. um, when, he, when he gave his speech, I was so inspired. I, I started making mini comics that night. Wow. And I've been making comics ever since. I, I think this is, yeah, I don't know. That was probably about 10 years ago. Wow, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. So yeah. you just dove in and started making comics. Yeah, I mean, I've always been uh, making art. I've been uh, doing comic-related art for a long time. But the sort of art I would share with people was more like paintings and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, portraiture. And uh, yeah, I'm like, well, why not? Why am I not making comics? I should be doing this. So there you if go. You're, if you're making art and you love comics, why not combine them? Like, yeah. it, it seems like a natural fit. Yeah. Has it been a natural fit? Well, there's been some ups and downs. Um, uh, I did go to uh, uh, school and, and I interned at Marvel Comics in the 90s. And uh, I happened to be there at either the best time or the worst time, depends on your opinion, right. because they went bankrupt. I was gonna say, the boom and the bust. Right yeah. there, right when I started. So literally everyone got laid off. And I'm, it was a very disillusioning time to be in, in the comics world, at least in the mainstream world. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And um, so I had to reevaluate a few things and I sort of stepped away from all that yeah. for a while. But it, it helped me figure out that independent and indie comics and the things that SPX really shows off um, so well w could be very fun and, and rewarding for me. Nice. Now, you say it was Brian Ralph's speech that kind of inspired you like, that night to make comics. Were there any works that also inspired you? Yeah, uh, I was d very into uh, Evan Dorkin's oh, yeah. works. Um, uh, I I'm trying to think of other... Yeah, probably Dave Sim. Okay. Um, uh, Ninja Turtles. I mean, like those early, oh, yeah. those early Ninja Turtles really blew my mind. Um, yeah, uh, you know, some a lot of a lot of uh, cape, uh, spandex and cape sure. books Absolutely, too. Yes. Certainly, it's all comics. Yeah. So what did, what have you uh, made for the show? Uh, so I, I brought two books over. Um, this is uh, my last year debut. This is called Comic Book Millionaires. Awesome cover. And it's uh, thank you. Uh, my buddy Jeremy did the illustration and I inked it and then uh, so it's actually our story um, about interning at Marvel when they went bankrupt oh wow and so it's his story in the beginning and my story at the end and uh, it's it's a hundred percent true except for the parts we had to make up and um, yeah it's 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 uh, it, it's got a lot of kind of heavy feelings about how comics industry is so like disappointing when you're like living in the in your youthful fantasy yes yeah life and then all that kind of you, comes mean, crashing down all so that realism comes in you came like, to a, a, a immediate and quick harsh reality check yeah it, but in a way because that was so quick i think i like leapt over uh the years of suffering part oh, for sure. and, yeah, and house, did yeah. some other fun stuff and enjoyed my life a little bit and then came back to comics and so it, it kind of it does have a happy ending in that we talk a little bit about where we've gone in the arts, myself and and my friend, uh, from from that experience. Right. So yeah. What's your other book there? And then this is the, my debut for this year. This is called Mega Turg Deluxe. Okay. And um, uh, Rusty, if you could actually hold that for a second. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So there you this go. is basically the local DC area comics people uh, have, have, have put out a free paper for a long time. The oh, Magic yeah. Bullet. And so all these in the inside are are those uh, oh wow those large scale works that I had done for that. That's amazing. And I, if you could, I don't know if you can really see, but the stories are actually inside the robots. Yeah. Because so the stories cool. are actually about the little guys, wow. about the little the little cogs. Yeah. Right. And then I did a bigger uh, a bigger story to sort of wrap wrap it all together. Now so, we have made awesome. zines in the past, Rusty and I. And it's for the zines, yes. for one of the issues, we wanted to make a fold-out poster. Yes. Yes. And it was very rewarding yes. to, to make it work. 
It is. And it, I was gonna say, like, you have a very intricate and well yeah, made fold this. out there. Mm -hmm. I also noticed the cover. That's a homage to one of the Marvel Transformations, right? Absolutely. Yep. Yes. And I, I give credit oh, there nice. after after uh, Mark Bright there. So cool. And even the um, the back cover has got a little a little. Uh, oh, nice. You, maybe you recognize it. I don't know. The. Uh, oh, actually, no. Well, I'm disappointed in you. Russell. I'm sorry. I, you know, it's like my fake fan. This comes out. Sorry. Well, that Transformers cover though is one of my all-time favorite uh, comic covers, and I, I think. You know, a series like uh, Transformers in, in uh, that day, I don't really think people took it very seriously. No. But that cover is so intense. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I just, I, yeah, I originally was was thinking, oh, I'll do this, do this as like a, a little bonus insert image just to do it. And then I started working on it. And I'm like, I just love this image so much. Yeah. So I went full boat. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I think it was funny. Like a lot of people weren't really paying attention to what was going on in that series, but it let them get away with just doing whatever they wanted. So, What's, what's one of your favorite comics, Rusty? Uh, Transformers number 17. What uh, happens in that cover? With the smelting kit. Uh, I know it well. Yeah. That's a great issue. So good. Yep. As, as a kid reading that, and it's like robots fighting, you're like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Until one guy goes into his melting oh, kit. Oh, it's dark. And he comes out, and he's the bottom half of him is melted, and yeah. he dies. And it, it, it fucked me up, but also, like, left an impression on me as a kid it was so good yeah, yeah. no there's some heavy stuff in there yeah Absolutely. you mean transformers can die like what <laughs> yeah scrounge was it's not name. possible scrounge is the one that passed that's the one yes rust in peace scrounge yeah did you just say rust in peace uh, i didn't but yes you should have thank you mm. so uh, do, what other products do you have on the horizon because these are very different types of books yeah that's right yeah i actually if you, if you check out my my stuff i mean i i think i have like 15 different entirely different books on the table. Wow. Uh, a lot of the stuff I do is um, related to music. So uh, my wife and I, for years, we worked on a, on a zine called Vinyl Vagabonds, uh, writing about vinyl culture and records and things like that. Um, I do uh, a totally other comic called Verse Scribble Verse, which is, uh, again, about music, but it's uh, live sketching at, at uh, concerts. Oh, cool. And then I sort of cut and paste the, those images into sort of Poetic collages, a um, little bit more, more esoteric. Yeah. And then um, I've done a couple uh, pop culture books, like um, I did a, a tribute book to RoboCop, the original RoboCop nice. movie, and um, and also a tribute book to all the uh, films of Paul Verhoeven, the same director. And those are those are jam books. I get my friends together and say, okay, what what do you got? You want to do one of these? And usually. If you say the right word, if I, if I say Transformers to yeah, Rusty, like, do it. he's going to make a contribution immediately. So yeah, it's absolutely. the same with these. He's got to know like the hook yeah. for the right people. Yeah, well, it helps to have a theme that people love. Yeah, And then sure. you get excited about it. And if you're, if you're a maker and you say the right words to a maker, like they're going to they're gonna make something beautiful. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like you turned on the, the fire and the kettle starts burning. It's exactly right. So uh, where can people find out about your work online? Uh, so I have all my most of my stuff uh, at my website www.dccreepers.com uh, and then uh, I keep my Instagram pretty active and that's at dccreeper and the number one okay excellent awesome uh, now before we let you go would you like to answer a mystery question probably yes yeah, pro okay, yeah. oh that's that's the uh, that's the confidence we yeah, love that, that's yes enough let's bring there in the, the possibly mystery machine mostly mystery. yes <laughs> and it's going to cost a quarter so good thing that we have a truck here Oh boy. It has a quarter for you. Beep. Open that back of the hatch. There's a quarter is inside. That's so handy. You. Thank you, little truck. Good job, quarter. Thank Thank you. It does its best. It's Thank not going to go in the smelting pit soon. No. Th uh, okay, little truck. I'd go in there to save it. You could go in there to save it? Blaster didn't yeah. do that for scrounge. I would oh, do it. Why was Blaster a jerk? Fuck Blaster. <laughs> <laughs> no reason for that. His cassettes weren't that good. Yeah. No. Not as good. No, come on. Okay. All right, Eric. Uh, do what I is ask your, this or yeah, do you ask it to you me? Read it, just read it question. and then you get the answer. Okay. Uh, do you wish you needed to use flashlights more? Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, Rusty is a flashlight fanatic. Aficionado. I and I started fish. thinking about the fact that he has all these amazing flashlights. But it's rare that he has an opportunity to utilize them. Yeah, and it just made me wonder so if there's anybody else out there that might have that yearning. Yeah. 
I do think about the the batteries within the flashlights that don't get used very often. And I think they're probably bored. Yeah. yeah. I don't really spend that much time thinking about that, but when I see the flashlight on the shelf in the closet... You only have to think about it a little bit. And I'm like, poor, poor batteries. Their potential, unused. They're, they're, yeah, only, they're, they're only used. They're only uh, mission. Yeah. They're, they're, they're right. just going to get the corrosiveness on them. and mm. That's right. They're never going to fulfill their energy depletion. I That's now right. think that uh, battery corrosion is actually um, depression for batteries. Oh, is it them crying? I, I bet it is. Well, it's helpful. So here's the thing you can do with your flashlights if you feel like they're not getting enough use. And I, this is the way I've been using my flashlights more and more. Mm -hmm. It's really helped the batteries out is that you build forts in your house that need light. I like that. So if you build a fort, you will need a flashlight. There you go. There you go. That is an incredible suggestion. Yes, you're, you're, you're on. You're go build a fort, guys. Creating job opportunities that, for batteries. When you said at that time, it did sound like you were as a, as a kiss off. Hey, go build a fort. Go build a fort, why don't you? Go well, get your flashlight. Get yeah. your damn flashlight. Why don't you take your flashlight with you? <laughs> Go build a fort, you, you, know. <laughs> you blaster. That's like the you new blaster. slang. All the kids are saying that to people. I know, oh, I yeah. heard them. I didn't understand. Oh, I hear on the street. Go go get your fort if flashlight, I, why don't you? Yeah, go get your fort flashlight. It finally makes sense now. Like, that's where it came from. Yeah, go get scrounged in your fort. <laughs> <laughs> get scrounged. Get scrounged. Well, scrounged died, right? Yeah, Is that that's what I'm saying? Yeah. Parts, of him, parts of him died. Yeah. Parts, yeah, he parts of him died. He had a little cassette that he took out and gave it away. <laughs> I think that's, that's good. I think we've, we've covered all the terrain. A lot of good topics. To Thank you for sitting with us. Yes, yeah. this is great. And Anytime. I, I, Thanks. It's a pleasure. Have a great yeah. rest of your fest. Thank you. You, you, you too. too. All right. I want yours to awesome. be better than No, ours. I'm going to go do that right now. Is that, oh, your, oh, is that yeah. your kiss off line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It go was good. Go, <laughs> yeah, go have a great time at the have festival. Have a great time. <laughs> but don't do it over here. Do yeah. it somewhere else. Yeah, do it elsewhere. All right, I will.